Hi everyone! Hey, what's up? Welcome to a little behind the scenes BTS in our apartment again. See my coat rack? <laughs> A day in the Same life. Design. Yeah. Today we're talking about Lauren Berger, the intern queen, uh, a day in the life of the intern queen, and how to become the intern queen. Those yes. are her two episodes in her Get It Together series, only on Experience a Day in the Life. Named after her book, Ooh, Get It Together. Such a good book. Such a good book. In that book, we're talking about goal setting and roadmaps. Now, I mean, we're pretty young ourselves. But I mean, we still have goals and we have a little bit of experience setting a little, some goals and achieving those goals and failing at those goals. Absolutely. And being frustrated trying to get those goals done. Um, and the one thing that I found uh, that always, always, always helps is always writing a roadmap. Mm -hmm. Keeping that list of things that need to get done and that are gonna move you closer to the goals. Yes, yeah, so we have a poster board in our apartment, literally, that has oh. our goals mapped. Krista together accidental yeah. and we have those goals oh, yeah. staring at us in the face and it Every doesn't day have when to we be walk in. yeah and it doesn't have to be you know you don't have to write it on a poster board and hang it up in your apartment although we like that we it's, like it's it cool. it stares us in the face and like keeps us accountable but it can be on your iPhone it can be on your computer whatever although you know what's interesting throughout all of our experience our uh, a day in the life interviews I would say the majority of the guests always kind of say yeah, I like handwritten notes. Yes. It's it's actually like a small detail that's actually pretty interesting. That is really so interesting. So maybe try I'm it starting out. to yeah. write down yeah. some more stuff and, too. Uh, a little Tim Ferriss thing too. Um, he mentions don't make this huge laundry list, right? Mm -hmm. Have one or two or three things that you can say, if I do these three things today, my day's a success. Exactly. And if you, if you overshoot it and do more, awesome. Mm -hmm. But if you put this long laundry list, it's gonna be a little overwhelming. But so yeah, back about, to back to get it together get by it Lauren to, Berger. Yeah. In the podcast series, she talks about how important it is, like Matt said, Very to important. create a roadmap for your goals. You need you need an end point. You need to find the end of the end of the tunnel. Mm -hmm. So um, the way she does it is to get really specific with your goals. So whether this be in the beginning of the year, you can really start anytime. But she talks about breaking it up into your Y, Q, and B goals. So the Y stands for your yearly goals. The M stands for your monthly goals. Mm -hmm. um, the Q stands for your quarterly goals. And the B stands for biweekly goals. And she doesn't go into... Y, Q, and B, not Y, M, Q, B. Is that how I did that? Why yeah. cute? Yeah. Oh, switch it. You know what I mean. <laughs> but anyway. But yearly, um, quarterly, monthly, bi-weekly. Yeah. So you can or imagine you can do how. Weekly, you, uh, uh, I guess. She instead. says it's too little of an amount of time, but. When you try don't. It out. When you're Let the us know what you queen, think. When you're the intern <laughs> queen and the CEO, maybe. But maybe for students, um, you don't have as much going on, or maybe you do. I mean, weekly goals could definitely be a yeah, good thing. Yeah, definitely. But so YQMB, whole, I yeah, like it. So the whole point is to take a big goal and to break it up into digestible pieces so that it doesn't seem as daunting when mm. you are trying to accomplish the goal. It's one thing to say, I'm gonna get this internship or mm -hmm. I wanna get it, but is it, okay, this week or this two weeks, I'm making a list of all these companies that I wanna possibly apply to. This week, I'm going to actually apply to them. This week, I'm gonna connect with everybody on LinkedIn. This week, I'm gonna send follow-up emails. And then that's how you go forward and eventually, I mean, at least you're going towards this north star or, yes, you know exactly. this, this one big goal and small manageable steps mm -hmm. so it doesn't seem as daunting or it doesn't seem like it's unachievable when you break it up like that mm -hmm. lauren says it's um way easier to get to that end goal so. so she talks a lot more about it in her get it together book she has so many so many awesome tips on time management um coping with failure mm -hmm. um and all this sort of stuff to kind of take control of your day and stop feeling like you're too busy and i think it's, correct me if i'm wrong i think we have an exclusive lauren Berger. Yes, story we do in the experience day in the life podcast we do we find do. out how Ooh. she became the intern queen Ooh. in part two the becoming the intern queen .com. and check See out internship intern queen .com too intern queen .com if you're in college career queen .com if, if you're, you're not, not in college or if you're out of college so See you next time, guys.